This is Dan Max, the trading agent. This is a stock trading and recap channel that I wanted to share to the masses. In a probability game, there's no certainty. Here are my insights and predictions. This is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka the trading agent, aka the silver surfer. We're going to talk about silver here and the SLV and just the whole silver market and my thoughts about what's coming up. Let's start on the monthly charts because these are you know, the start of every trade. You should always zoom out first to kind of see where you've been and where you might be going. I tell people this $20 range in blue is res resistance here, kind of support resistance here. Once you broke it in 2011, it went apeshit. It was resistance in 2016, and it's been the lows of the last two years just kind of chopping. It's very obvious the silver prices, SLV, whatever you want to call it, seem to be holding this $20 range. You go zoom in on the daily, you really can see that we broke the downtrend here in black. Let me just change it so you can see very clearly what I'm talking about. Like a no doubter, we broke the downtrend and now we're trending up. It bottom with a head and shoulders bottom. You had tremendous volume at the low at the head, which is a huge technical indicator with volume if you're trading stocks, anything, commodities. Volume tells you about the supply and demand. Now we're channeling up. If you ever watched any of my previous videos, we said the 200 day would probably be resistance just like the 100 day was the first time it hit it. Well, I could see a pullback into the 22s, 38, 235, whatever range. It doesn't have to be perfect, no. But I would keep that in mind. So let me get into the rant of why silver to me is worth stacking long term. As we all know, JP Morgan's manipulating the market on this. They've been doing it for years. I mean, I think last week they got slapped with another fine. It's just more of a pay to play at this point kind of fine you know it's just mar it's just whether their margins are whatever percentage versus less by getting these fines it's kind of a joke it's like a slap on the wrist it's it's the analogy like i like to say when it comes to hunting and fines and all that stuff you know you can kill anything if you're willing to pay the fine so that's what's going on here killing silver to pay the fine it works for them at some point though the price is just too low there's going to not be enough supply and there's going to be a big enough demand where they're going to have to let the silver prices rise. And it just seems very obvious to me what's going to happen in time. It's just when. That's the biggest question that everybody keeps asking is when does silver take off? And it's, you know, pretty simple. I don't know. No one really knows. But once it starts going, you better hope you're on the train because if you miss the train, eh, you're really going to be disappointed because you had a long time to buy Anyway, we get into the rant and the other videos about the uh, tech war and who wins that coming up. And I think silver is going to be a big winner. Ultimately, to build out the technology of the future, you're going to need a ton of supply in the metals, precious metals markets, electricity, energy, whatever you want to call it. If you study the late 90s, we had similar activity where you had a technology war coming that basically was the Internet and everything included and such. Well, now it's all rolling into another iteration of technology. Do you want to pick who wins the war or do you want to pick who supplies the war? Well, in these circumstances, if you study the past, you know the winner is the guys that are providing the bullets <laughs> for the war. And the war meaning the build out, the infrastructure. Well, what do you need to build all this infrastructure out for the future? You need the supplies. And that's the winner. I don't know when that trend flips, but tech is extremely overvalued compared to commodities. I mean, I was just looking at some of the PE ratios for something like Valley. It's like a three versus... I don't even know how you price Tesla anymore. I love Elon. Love what he's ultimately trying to do. But guess what? What's cheap and what's not? Just you got to think about it. So this is Dan Max at EXP Realty, a.k.a. Trading Agent, also known as the Silver Surfer. Big fan of silver long term. Keep stacking. If you're not stacking, you might regret it. You own the physical. I don't know what ultimately happens to the paper market. They will probably try to manipulate it at some point, even bigger. But, hey, you play the game, you know. It is what it is. Buy low, sell high. I'll talk to you guys and gals soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like the content. Also, smash the like button. Share with your friends and add a comment. If there's a topic or stock you'd like me to give you insight about, let me know in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer your question. Thanks.